A proposed bill in California could force stores to roll back on self-checkout lanes. This comes after some major retailers are placing new restrictions on those kiosks, some even removing them altogether, trying to curb theft. NBC's Christine Romans has more. California lawmakers considering a new bill forcing retailers to limit self-checkout lanes in an effort to curb theft and protect jobs. When worker safety is at risk and people lose their jobs, we in the state legislature must act and we must act now. According to the bill, grocery and retail stores would be required to provide at least one cashier run station. Self checkouts would be limited to 10 items or less and a human worker would be required to monitor no more than two lanes each. Stores using AI at checkout would need a full assessment before deploying that technology. Lawmakers and retailers say curbing theft is a priority, with one recent survey estimating more than 20 million Americans have stolen from a self-checkout kiosk and more than 8 million planning to do it again. 69% of consumers also say it's easier to steal from a self-checkout kiosk than a cashier. This comes as major retailers have already been rethinking how to use self-checkout in stores. Most recently, Target is limiting self-checkout to 10 items or less. The line goes quicker, but also I feel like it's not very convenient for some people that take, you know, are buying a lot of stuff. While other major retailers like Walmart and Costco experimenting with limiting self-checkout and Dollar General removing self-checkout altogether from hundreds of its stores. The question is whether forcing people to a certain kind of checkout, whether that resolves the issue, and I don't think it's going to be a global solution. Retail theft aside, many shoppers are taking notice of the changes. Can we just talk about the self-checkout epidemic in the United States? We are officially entering the downfall of self-checkouts. As for inflation-weary shoppers in California, experts also say buyer beware over a potential downside to the bill. I'm very worried that this will raise the cost for the businesses, which will then have to really try to resolve that issue, either through raising prices uh, or exiting the market. And consumers, we know, are already fed up with high prices. Christine Romans reporting there. That bill, by the way, is still in committee and is yet to be voted on by California's full chamber.